Hi everyone, we're going to use quadratic techniques to solve n to the 6th power minus 1 equals 0. So what we're going to do is, using quadratic techniques, is simulate uh, this difference of squares. So I'm going to write this as square minus squares. So you have an a and b. This is going to end up being n cubed minus 1 squared, like that. So now we have this a squared minus b squared, and we can expand. Our a would be n cubed, and our b is 1. And when you do that, you're going to get n, not n, but n cubed minus 1 times n cubed plus 1 equals 0. Now we're going to expand further because you have to factor completely and we're going to use our sum and difference of cubes here. So for the first one, this is going to be n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1. This one is going to be n plus 1 times n minus n plus 1 equals 0. So for these two pieces here, you're just going to get n equals plus or minus 1. So that's two solutions. These two are going to be complex solutions. So we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So let's do that. Here's your quadratic formula. And the first one, we had n squared minus n plus 1 equals 0. Therefore, we have uh, a equals 1, b equals negative 1, and c equals 1. Using your quadratic formula, you get x equals negative b, so that's positive 1, plus or minus square root of uh, negative 1 squared minus 4 a c all divided by 2. So this will give you 1 plus or minus square root negative 3 divided by 2 which equals 1 plus or minus and I'm going to pull out that negative and say i square root of 3 divided by 2. Now notice uh, for the other one we had we had n squared plus n um, plus 1 equals 0. <clears throat> so you do the same thing. It's going to be exactly the same. The only difference is my b is positive 1. So the only thing that's really going to change, if, even if you make this a positive, um, the only thing that's going to change is this first number here. Because the b, it's negative b. Everything else stays the same. So your other solution is going to be negative 1 plus or minus square root of, um, let's put the i there, i square root of 3 divided by 2. So you basically have uh, two solutions here, two solutions here when you're taking into account your plus or minus, and then you also had n, uh, the other part was n equals plus or minus 1. That's what we originally got. So you had a total of 6 solutions. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.